Meta just dropped SAM3, that is segment anything model, and it allows you to use simple text prompting to segment anything in a video easily. Let me take a step back. There's this thing called rotoscoping. It is the extremely manual process that takes a team of dozens of people by manually segmenting different elements in a video. And now with SAM3, it takes seconds. I'm partnering with Meta on this video to tell you about this incredible open source, open weights model that allows you to do some pretty incredible things. All right, so check this out. All you have to do is simply type in what you want segmented from the video and it does the rest for you. Watch this. So here you can see they typed dog and all of the dogs are highlighted. And it's not just an image. This is actually a full video and frame by frame, it figures out what needs to be highlighted. Here's animals, here's zebras specifically. You can also simply click on anything in the video. You don't have to describe it in a prompt. Click on the thing, it knows what you're clicking on and it will track it throughout the video. Watch this. Here's a skateboarder. Here's the skateboard. Here are lanterns floating, birds, done, cars in traffic. See, it doesn't highlight any of the motorcycles. And as I said before, the best part, completely open source, completely open weights, by Meta. You can download this, you can get it running on your computer, you can run it in their playground. It's free, it's easy to use. Give it a try, I'll drop the links down below. Let me show you some demos. All right, so check out this night scene. Lots of traffic, lots of people walking, running, motorcycles, cars, and there is one bike, one bike right there, and it's hard to see. I mean, the only reason that I'm able to see it is because you can kind of see the silhouette of a guy and it looks like he's riding the bike. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna come over here in the playground, we're going to type bicycle and then search the entire video. This is a 10 second video and it found that bike and then it actually found other bikes that come into frame mid video. And then as you're seeing here on the left side, we we actually get a list of the different objects and we can add objects, we can remove objects, and then all of a sudden we can lift elements out of the 2D video. All right, and now let's see if it's able to tell the difference between a bicycle and a motorcycle. Watch this. So we're gonna click change objects. We're going to type motorcycle now. We're gonna preview this frame only. So it found one motorcycle right there. And then as soon as we look through the entire video, we can see it highlighted the motorcycles right there. And again, all of the objects are listed here on the left side. All right, here's another one, an older video, and we wanna find all of the taxis. So we simply type in taxi and it finds all of the objects, segments them independently. And then on the left side, once again, you see little pictures of each of the objects. We have labels for each of the objects, colors for each of the objects. You can delete any ones that you want, and it just makes it, so easy to deeply analyze these videos. And SAM3 isn't just a dumb model that can highlight things. It actually understands what's in the video, which is super impressive. So in this example, it's going to know what the difference is between vanilla and another flavor. So here we type in vanilla ice cream, and there we go. It highlighted these three, which look like vanilla, very close, and then here's strawberry, which is obviously not vanilla. All right, so let me give you a tour of the playground. This is the free, fully hosted version that Meta has that you can upload videos, play around with it, figure out what works for you. And when you wanna use SAM3 in production, you could download the model, run it yourself, and put it into production. All right, so we select a video that we wanna upload. You can also try one of the sample videos below, so if you don't want to upload your own, go ahead and click those. Okay, so it just takes a minute to prepare the video and immediately you just go to the left side and you describe whatever object in the video that you want to highlight. So here we type person and it obviously highlighted all the people. Then you click search the entire video. So it gives you that preview frame and then it will literally go through frame by frame and figure out how to highlight all of those different objects throughout the entirety of the video. Then it populates all of the objects on the left side. You can add objects by clicking, by describing it. You can add effects to it. So let's say continue to effect. We're going to add effect and we'll do contour. So you can play around with some of these cool effects that they have and it adds it to the whole video just like so. And then of course you can download it by clicking the share button. And in addition to downloading it, you can also share it right from this screen. So copy the link and set your sharing settings on the right side, share it with your friends, or you can download it as I mentioned. All right, let me tell you about templates now. And I'm gonna start to hint at why SAM3 is so very useful, especially for video editors, animators, video game creators. There's 
So much you can do with this. All right, so a template is basically a predefined set of things, tasks, that you want to perform on a video. All right, so a super common use case for video editors is to pixelate license plates. And you can easily imagine pixelating human faces, which is also a very common use case. So for a template, we're going to segment all the license plates and then apply the pixelation effect. Watch this. So there it is, find the license plate, pixelate effect on mask. Let's try the template. We can upload our own video. Of course, you can try the sample video as well. We'll upload our own. So here's our video. We're gonna use that template. We're going to apply the template. See, we see the finds license plate, pixelate effect on mask, apply template, searching for license plates, and boom, you can see all of the license plates flawlessly pixelated. Super impressive, very easy, it just took seconds. All right, so why are we doing this? Why is this so useful? I gave you one example just now, but let me show you a few other examples that might apply to you. So with live cameras everywhere, tracking cars is an incredibly popular use case. We can simply type in truck and it highlights all of the trucks easily for us. And then we can apply mass to it like a box so we can easily visualize what is being tracked. So if you have a security camera or or if you have a street camera like this, you can now easily track it. Let's say you're building a bird feeder with a camera to see the coolest birds, or you just wanna track the birds. Well, you can now easily do that. So here we type in bird, search the entire video, and again, Super easy to do. And you know where else this is gonna be super useful is with robots. This is a model you can download and run locally pretty easily. And imagine now a robot has the ability to easily segment everything it sees. So if it sees a child, it can put itself into safe mode or stop completely. So the possibilities are really endless. And again, the best part is it is completely free, completely open source, completely open weights. Go download it, have fun, test it out. Let me know what you build with it. Thanks again to Meta for sponsoring this video. If you enjoyed this video, please consider giving a like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next one.